Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sticky Quince. Uh, today I thought I'd show you guys how to uh, actually do the complete install of World of Warcraft on the Steam Deck. I've had a lot of people asking, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? And uh, so I've deleted everything and I thought, you know, I'll, I'll just show you how, how I do it. There's an easy way of doing it now, basically. So, but before we start, I'm going to show you how to install um, Curse, Curse Forge, the add-on installer, because you know you can't play it without it. You know, without the add-on. Curse. So we're just on. I'm just on um, Chrome at the moment. Curse Forge. Uh, let's, just, let's just type it. Let's just type it in and see what comes up. We'll go add on in store. Okay. Curseforge add on update. Uh, Add-on manager, that one there. Right, now we're on the page. Your download will begin. Uh, I don't... No, sorry, let's go to the app. See the app there? I have downloaded that, we're gonna delete that in a minute. So we want to get to this page. Right, and then you scroll down, this is the one you want. That one right there. I'm just gonna delete that one that I've accidentally downloaded there a second. Because we don't need any more stuff blocking up the system. Move to trash, there we go. Okay, so now we've got that downloaded. All you have to do, uh, let me just find it a second. So th this is what it looks like. But obviously, it comes in a zipped packet like that. All you've got to do is left click it, this one, and go to extract. I'm not going to do it again, because I've already done it. Next thing we do, right, I'm going to close out of this and do it from from nothing. So we're going to move the cursor down to our discover down here in the corner. Click on that and it's going to open up this. Now we want to search in this little box here. Open up the little thingy jiggle here. Now we want to download Loot Tricks. Let's just have a little search for that there, right? That uh, not found. Have I spelled it wrong? I think I've just spelled it wrong, haven't I? Is it Lutris? Sorry. There it is. Sorry, I'm an idiot. That one at the top. You want to install that. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. This is really simple. Sorry, for some reason I'm out of breath. So you go down to the bottom where it's installed. And then we want to search for it. There it is. And up, up in the corner, launch. Okay, this is it. And this, this is going to do all the work for you. So I'm going to show you. What I've done is I've completely uninstalled it to show you guys. So you want to push the add button up there. Search. Bring that up again and we're going to type in battle dot net. There it is, it's come up, so we just click on that. 
and it's as simple as this, you just want to push install. Uh, oh, and here, this bit's quite important. Create a Steam shortcut so we can launch it from actually inside Steam. Okay? Just leave it wherever it wants to do its business and press install. Uh, continue. Now this is going to take a while because it's going to do all of the work for you. Install all the bits that you need to play this thing. Now it does a lot of this stuff. You know, you just you see a lot of this script and things going on and on. It takes some time, uh, but don't worry, it's doing all the hard work for you. Uh, and in a while, I'll show you having to log into your your account and all that stuff. The screen goes dark sometimes, like that. Okay. Select the language. Now, I'm going to pick English UK because that's where I am. Here's the hard bit. You need to add your email and your password. So, give us a minute. I'm just going to try and log in. Make sure you clip the keep me logged in bit as well. Otherwise, you're going to have to do this all again. Can I remember my password? Do you know what? I can't. Let's put some stuff in. It's all logged in. Now I need to do the authenticator. As you do. Approve. Approved. We could not find any battle.net games on your system. That's okay, we're going to close that. Welcome, welcome. It's going to tell you yeah, all this stuff. Just try and click out of that. Oops, I keep clicking that by accident. That's it, it's all installed. Now all you've got to do is we're going to go to Classic RAF. Uh, make sure for some reason it puts you the, the wrong account on. Make sure you're on the right account and press install. Auto update. Create a desktop shortcut. I don't want that. We have got 12 gigabytes to install. Let's go. You can pick a different folder. I don't bother. I have it on the system. Uh, the system storage. I keep it on there. Now we've just got to wait until it's finished. Right. As you can see, it's all installed. All we've got to do is press the play button, but I'm not going to do it. Oh, well, I could do it here, actually. Right, before we exit, what we want to do is just go up here. I remember this from last time. Go into the settings. And just change this so on game launch exit battle.net completely uh, I don't think that one matters really do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that as well okay just change those two because you just don't when you exit the game you wanna you wanna go back uh, to the launcher. Complete. Right, let's just close that down. don't remember seeing that. Can you see it? Right, so the game is now there in Lutris. We can come out of this. Let's move Lutris over a little bit. I can't see the corner. Okay, close that down. I always leave this open anyway. We're back in the Steam OS. Uh, and that's this is what it looks like, the new launcher, blizzardbattle.net. So if we can click on that, click on that, then hopefully it should launch. There we go, here's the launcher. OK, 
get rid of that. Now, we just want to press play. It's going to do all of this like normal. Like when you've just put a fresh install of the game, it's going to show you the cinematic and everything. Now, you're probably thinking, how do I skip this? I've seen it a hundred times. You need to bring up the keyboard and press enter. <laughs> Took me a while to figure that one out the first time. And there's our character, everything as normal. We don't have any add-ons installed at all at this point, but we needed to load it up so that it makes all the right files and all that stuff. So we're just gonna log in. There we are, just hanging out in Dadaran as normal. We can't do anything at this point, nothing's gonna work. So we need to exit. So we need to click the little computer and then we need to exit game. Alright, let's come back out there, so we press the steam button and we want to go back into desktop mode. Okay, that's still open because I always leave that open. So now we're going to click on the Curse Forge, once this has stopped doing all its stuff. Execute. takes a little bit of time. So, we need to locate the game. Okay, so just go down to the scan there. And let it do its stuff. So what I noticed, this happened last time, is it goes on and on for hours, but in the background, if you can just about see it, I don't know if that's focused or not. Uh, it actually says, you can see it. Wrath of the Lich King, I remember seeing this last time, so just cancel the scan. The we're in the right location, okay? Classic one. Oh, I've got on classic twos. Is that right? Still says classic too. So if we go now to get more add-ons, and we just type it in here. Bring up the keyboard. And we put in console. Port. All one word. Search. Get rid of the keyboard. Con supports right there. Done. If we go back now, we can see it in our we'll see it in our list. There we go. That's the only add-on that I'm gonna have on there at the moment just to show you guys. So we can now come out of this. Let's go back to big pit big picture mode. Back into the blizzardbattle.net launcher, play. Here we are again. Click the play button. And you can see now in the corner it says add-ons. We've got add-ons. Let's just enter the world. Here we go. Steam Deck, and they've got a Steam Deck layout now. Which is really nice. Here we are, all set up. Hold the triggers, bring up other things, press start button, you, know, you can go in and organize your stuff. Uh, I think the map by default is to hold uh, the right trigger and press select button, what I call the select button. And yeah, there we go. How brilliant is that? Now you can go and add whatever add-ons you want. I usually put um, Plater and Questy and all that stuff on there, you know? And uh, just have a fantastic time playing this game. Uh, 
in bed, on the toilet, wherever you want to do it. <laughs> it's all good, man. Just enjoy yourself. And, um, I just, yeah, thanks for watching again, guys. You, you guys are brilliant, as always. Thanks for all the subs, all the comments, all the likes. It's just brilliant. Um, next week, I might do something a little bit different. Um, keep an eye on the channel for that. And, yeah, let's have a fantastic time, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Cheers.